exciting journey into the board of health. Graver Ship Paranormal decided to come and investigate the board house for ourselves. What our paranormal team and a news crew from Tolmunda 40 that night encountered within the board house was nothing short of extraordinary. Voices, voices, um, I've seen an apparition behind me, a dark apparition. But on that, on that sign, you can see a reflection. So I glanced through the reflection like three times and I saw a lady behind me. It was just a dark um, shadow behind me with her hair like in a bun, like those um, old fashioned buns and you can see the outline of her dress. And when I looked again and turned around, there was nobody there. But People get some really good eating peas down here. And it's really, uh, it's spooky. Some, some research. Uh, the story behind this tunnel was in um, 1898 when the building was, um, was done. Um, right about the early 1900s, this tunnel was built all the way to the Rio Grande River. They are said to have transported alcohol, and this is during the Al Capone era. It here was actually covered in 1955 due to the construction of Highway 83. My, my guess is there's probably catacombs all up and under. I'm pretty sure. Probably going to every single building down here. Are you here? There's something you can tell us. That sounds like a name. No, so you are here right now. Three. That sounded like three. Do you hear that though? I heard it once. Well, yes. Well, yeah. Well, there's from outside. I'm sorry, it was from outside. Can you maybe? We had a couple of friends of ours in here, and they had a device similar to this one on the bed. Can you move some of these blinds? It's all up. You had a full yeah. charge on that yeah. camera, didn't you? Yeah. Now, I mean, now it it's gone? Off. Both of them have batteries, but their cameras are turning completely yeah. off. This is supposed to be the room again where the man hung himself uh, many years ago. Uh, new, even the news oh, crews haven't. Uh, you heard that? Yeah. What? What happened? What happened? Well, what happened? Um, different people are experiencing uh, cold spots, uh, sensations of being touched. Uh, just now, the uh, news crew cameraman had a clip fly off his basically knock, get knocked out of his hand. Another strange thing that's going along with everything so far here at La Borde House. That sounds like a name? It sounds mad. Estás aquí en la casa? Are you in this room with us right now? Are you watching us? Si. Si, si. Digo si, digo. Ahí está. Eres de México. Eres de México. I'm going to blow out the candle in Spanish. No, no, quieres aquí. No, 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 I thought I saw a, a silhouette right behind you, but I'm trying to feel something. That's why I'm, I'm moving the camera. Oh, I felt like I was doing something to one of us. Do something. Show us how strong you are. I'm going to turn it off, man. That's strange. This shouldn't turn off because it's activating with the screen. Up on his face. Up on his face. Holy moly. What are you feeling right now, Jay? Um, actually, there's a chill down my spine. It's, it's gone back here. Look. It's up here. It's up around your chest. It's, it's here. It's not back here. Right watch, 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 watch. Look at that. What? No, we're Is there somebody here? Tell us your name. That's high. It's gone. Okay. No, it's no, not gone. there. It's not gone. There you it still is. got a signal on you. Put it on. Put on this guy's camera. Look. See if you get put the same. Yeah. Hey, look, look, look. It's even over here. This. Over. It generates a magnetic right field around. It measures the, electric, the, the magnetic field that's in the air. Why don't you turn the camera? Between us. Nothing, right? Can you not see the camera? Oh, wait, 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 w
Is your body hanging here? Right now, the investigation is being covered by the local Spanish television channel, uh, Telemundo, and this is a news crew to cover the dead explorer and graveyard ship, uh, investigating the red room. And with the camera crew, Telemundo here, we've actually had uh, paranormal experiences. Their cameras are having uh, malfunctions. Earlier, my camera died, the battery died, uh, the microphone died, and they're experiencing the same thing. So they're about to do an EVP with Telemundo. Con los aparatos que tenemos. Okay. Alcohol inmigrantes de forma ilegal. Did somebody hurt you while trying to cross you? Were you injured? Were you buried alive? No. No. It's okay. You can talk to us. We're here to help. Is this the place you died? Whoa. Died. 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 What can you do to show us that you're here? Come on, say it real clear. Get the strength. Are you down here with us? Watch out, that's a bat. That's a bat. Oh, yeah. That's a bat. Yeah. Oh, oh. Where, where's it at? Where's there there it is. Oh, shit. He's getting close, man. Yeah, he's getting close. I'm backing up. Are you out here? No. <laughs> I can, I can get it from right here. You guys just... Say hi to the bat from there. Because of that, we have to use audio recorders to listen to all the frequencies and play it back in an analog that we can understand and hear. What, so that's why we can receive audio and we can't hear it. What, what happens a lot of times, um, and a lot of the clients have animals a lot of times, uh, cats, dogs, and a lot of times these animals freeze up and they growl at things. Coming this way. I'm in turn AC. Oh, okay. That might be the AC. That glass, just a second There's wind blowing right here, but the air is way over there. Well, the Some, somebody grabbed his arm. No, there was yeah. Oh, shit, check that out. Where'd that come from? I don't know, it just started burning. That's a scratch. Those are two I can't scratch. see anything. It's all the way down to here. I can't see it. It goes all the way down to here. Look, it's right forming. Here. Yeah, there's two scratches. There's one Holy right here, one right here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's look. three. Three, wait a minute. Let's take a picture of this. There's three scratches. Stand it down here wow. three, three times. Jesus and they Christ. come up like right. We caught it on camera. Oh okay, wait, wait, wait. They were really light and just kept getting yeah. darker and darker. It's and burning, he just said man. he felt something They're burning. burning. Yes, we were oh, uh oh, Jay, that's though. serious. Look at that. Oh my. That's three. Jay, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just, it just burns. And in your room, I heard a kid cry. Hmm. In your room, right behind me. Wow. And it was loud. Hmm. And I think the reason why you guys didn't hear it down here is because you were talking about that, but you it wouldn't have been totally quiet. You got oh, right. Right. There's some what's going, going on right now is I am with uh, totally Jay of Graveyard sound. Shift Paranormal. He He's started uh, talking sounds. about a burning feeling uh, and, uh, coming from his leg, and I put the camera on there, and at first there was hardly anything, maybe two really light lines, and they got darker and darker, and then we started seeing a third line, a third scratch, and we caught it all on camera. The camera, the pictures that I took, you can go through them and literally see them get darker throughout all of them. Because so you saw them start the off really light and get darker, right? Yes. Yeah. And how did it feel when that happened? Well, as we were coming in, um, I told Dan, I was like, man, something's burning my leg. And um, I, I just felt like something, just something hot. Uh, it doesn't feel like scratches at all. Um, but as soon as I walked in the room, I mean, I just left my pan and I couldn't see anything. So Harvey asked to come over here with a flashlight and he put the flashlight on me and he saw uh, two streaks, two red ones and then as soon as uh, I guess it, it got exposure, I mean, it just started coming up. I, I mean, it's just something, it doesn't feel like a scratch, it just burns. Red Room, uh, Global Board of Health. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and begin by, uh, we don't speak Spanish, we're very sorry about that. You don't have Espanol, just give to us, say. 
Brendo un poquito. The band that's playing behind me right now is uh, playing so loud that it's leaking into the room and overshadowing everything I say. So uh, normally you hear, you know, evidence at a lower frequency, and since this is so loud, we can't even get it, uh, get that frequency heard. I'm able to use it as like a white noise barrier, where it's just constant. And uh, we're going to be able to hear either something above it or below it in frequency if we get anything. But this is so loud that uh, everything we're saying is being, you know, completely wiped out. Greg, go ahead and just ask if it, there's anyone in this room. You're here. It's time to come out now. Are your children in this in this word hotel? Is that you making the noise? Make a noise in the room to let us know you're here. I'd hate that if I was had to had to be a prostitute. Or do you think you're the shame? In this haunted red room, we caught this EVP of a little girl calling for her mama. Well, they went to the red room though. But, oh, maybe they were standing outside the window shining in. If you listen closely, you will hear a little girl tell us to stay down. Person says that this is a room where what, the what uh, the blinds will open and close by themselves. Okay. Well, let's run a test. Let's close them. Okay. And we got witness right now that we are closing. And if nobody comes up to this room in the next 20 minutes, and these we come back up and they're open again, then we're on this stuff. And uh, we're going to run some short EVP sessions here to see if we can get some type of direct communication going. Is there someone here? Someone who wishes to talk to us? Do you like to play with the blind? Say it loud so we can hear you. Who scratched him? What was that? No, I'm going to go back. I saw the minute. That was interesting. Whoa. Whoa yeah. Go back, go back, go back. That's a little girl laughing. There's a little girl. Yes, laughing. Wow, wow, wow. Did oh, you hear that? Go back, go back, go back, go back. Alright. Here we go. Dude. She's saying something. Dude, she's that saying, is amazing. She's not laughing. She's saying something. Listen. Hey, it's in Spanish right there. Mama. Uh, mama? Play it again. It's a mama? Yes. Mama. Mama. Oh my. That's gonna... Whoa, did you hear that? It yeah. Breathe in. Breathing up on listen, the Listen, listen, listen. Oh, Ooh, it's a whisper. It's a whisper. It's a whisper. She's saying something else. I don't She's know. She's saying something? See? Yeah, it's just a lower tone this time. When you heard that mama, um, the uh, EVP playing back on the recorder, on the digital recorder, it, I mean, it almost really hits you in a par your parental instinct, just it hearing does. that mama. Because, you know, anybody who's had a kid, you know, a little toddler, and they're still going to try to stage where they always need mom for something. Even some older kids, they always want mom. Something bad happens, the first person they call for is mom, you know. Something's happening, I'm hurt, I don't feel good, mama, mama. And you hear that, it just kind of really makes you... When you hear child spirit, it just really grabs your soul. Yeah. You know, that's the way I look at it. It's just... It, when we hear things like that, it's almost like there's some type of trauma going on. Yeah. Some distress. Especially that tone of that mama. I mean, I have a two year old daughter, and when she really wants mom, that, I mean, that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. And I think I go got goosebumps hearing it. I mean, that was as loud and as clear a Class A EVP I think I've heard in a long time. 